Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. On Friday, July 23, I went to the Netherlands visiting a gift and hobby shop that I got to know through a Diecast Dude video. I'll ask Diecast Dude to put a link to his video in the comment section. And uh, lots of Diecast in that store. Start with one loose car I got there. This is a Siku, an uh, Iveco daily pickup truck. Um, paid two and a half euro for it, which is quite expensive, but it's the first time ever I've seen this green color of it. Uh, usually I think I can buy these carded for that kind of money, but you know, uh, it's the first time I find it, so decided to grab it. So we got the plastic black base, it also makes for the bumper in the front, and then the green is all metal. I think it usually comes with a canopy, but uh, that one was lost. And then we got a carded Siku, the Wiesmann GT with the flames, so black with a red interior. This is an older release because it's got the blister glued to the cardboard. Three euro for that one. That's also the most I've ever paid for one of these Wiesmanns. I collect this casting, try to collect all the colors. I have a black one but uh, without the flames. So get the grill done, the headlights, grilled even in the bottom of the bumper. The gecko logo on top of the flames there and then flames on the side and on the hood or bonnet. Door handle, the silver paint on the mirrors, tail lights painted red and third brake light and then the gecko again and even some uh, exhaust detail here with the reverse lights. So very nicely detailed one. It's even got a two-tone interior, look at that. I think this is the most detailed version I have uh, so far. Uh, yeah, really surprised that it's got this many details. Even the windscreen wipers are painted silver and the, the nozzles for the fluid. That's uh, amazing. Wow. Nice. Then also found a bunch of uh, older Hot Wheels. He had uh, boxes full of these. Um, again, a little bit more expensive, but you know, if it's a good solid metal casting, uh, I'm willing to pay that. So all long cards, uh, faded blue card, good humor truck, so the food truck. Um, this is a 1995 release, even though it says 1991, but back then uh, there were still the blue cards and not the faded blue cards. So uh, yeah. I like to collect this casting. I will be opening it in a uh, food truck video, not now. And then my first example of the uh, Range Rover by Hot Wheels in the Flamethrower series. It says four times flames here, exclamation mark. That's pretty funny. So, um, 1996 release. <clears throat> the cheapest Range Rover I've ever found for two and a half euro. Uh, that's why I don't have an example of these. These usually are pretty expensive and I don't want to pay that kind of money. So red with flames. So indeed it has four, uh, four times flames. So on the, both on the side and then on the hood or bonnet and then uh, on top chrome base so you get the chrome bumpers and the chrome front end very wide wheels on this and then okay looking interior so yeah very happy to finally have an example of this casting then got this police car now it doesn't have any licensing info on the card it's a 1998 release um, but it seemed kind of familiar to me and uh, after doing some research this is based on the Holden Commodore uh, and it has a separate piece for the light bar so that's why I thought it was uh, worth this uh, this kind of money it's a generic livery but uh, yeah interesting to see um, not going to open it up I'm going to send it to someone who's going to uh, appreciate this even more than I do 
Uh, it's got uh, seems to have the lens lights or the headlights part of the window piece, by the way. So not a bad one. Mercedes C Class. This is a 1999 release in yellow. Got a few other colors of this one, but did not have a, a plain one. Uh, there's only two plain ones the, in yellow and in red, so glad to have found one of these. Nice snowflake wheels. So, got the metal spoiler, red interior. This is a pretty nice casting. Got the, lots of details in the casting. Like it. Then, two th 2001 first editions, the Surf and School Bus. Um, for the school bus collection, this is a all metal body, plastic base. Nowadays, uh, this has been re-released in 2021 with a plastic body. Um, so yeah, again, worth it because there's a, a big chunk of metal here, this body. And it goes well in the collection, 2001 release. So I'll open that up in the school bus video. And then the biggest surprise of all is this one. The Saturn Ion Quad Coupe. This is not part of the mainline. This was a uh, dealership exclusive. that was handed out to uh, people that visited the dealership. 2002 copyright. Got a lot of information here on the back. Uh, we'll look at that with the car uh, alongside it because the, the card is toast so uh, I'm not going to keep it carded. It does seem to have too bad of a packaging rub because the, the plastic here shows some signs of that but I'm glad that uh, it didn't suffer. It's um, full deco so you get uh, black around the windows get the logo here that's probably a Saturn logo you get the tail lights and you get the headlights with the logo on the hood so that's a, a top tempo basically and then even the the lights underneath there fog lights probably so uh, yeah that's very nice to get full tempo version so the Ion Quad Coupe, unveiled at the 2002 New York Auto Show, showcases the intriguing personalization opportunities offered by the all-new Saturn Ion. Ion Quad Coupe features dual rear access doors, so you have the front door that opens up normally, and then the back door is kind of a suicide door without a handle on the outside, kind of like the uh, Mazda RX-8 had and the first new Mini station wagon. Full flat seats, apparently that was something new back then. Interchangeable roof rails, you don't get to see a lot of that on this uh, example. Interior trim kit, center mounted instrument cluster, you can see that here. In the um, center of the dashboard there's the uh, instrument cluster, so not in front of the driver behind the steering wheel. Interesting. Ecotec 2.2 liter double overhead camshaft engine. VTI variable transmission and then electronic power steering <laughs> little typo there EPS so yeah quite uh, some uh, interesting features on this vehicle and uh, very happy to have found this car in Europe imagine that so uh, I'm going to keep this card because it's so special even though it's uh, it's pretty toast um, it's uh, good enough to uh, still to keep, I think. So yeah, that's uh, a find I was really happy with, and uh, that alone was worth the uh, the three-hour trip one way. Also found some welly in the window boxes, a euro and a half for this Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Nice red color. So it seems to have, well, not really suspension, it's just bending the axles. Nicely detailed in the front, a little bit oversized Mercedes star. 
nice bright interior and then nothing on the back detail wise on the Land Rover series I was going to say but it just says Land Rover Freelander on the card nowadays it says series you'll see that on the other one I have the newer one these are older ones you can see that by the different packaging so it's got uh, the vinyl wheels with the tread on them and the other one did not have that the Mercedes side deco lens headlights bonnet Land Rover on the bonnet I mean and then the detachable parts here that are also outlined out, outlined with some paint even some paint on the wipers and on the this panel underneath it it seems so indicator repeater door handle fuel filler cap Land Rover logo plastic removable top here well not removable on the model but on the real vehicle and no details in the back and it does get a uh, spare tire with a cover with some wrinkles in it uh, and it's right hand drive so yeah this is a, a nice model the um, bumpers and uh, wheel arches are separate piece not part of the black base or the light gray interior because they are dark gray so this model consists of a lot of different uh, pieces yeah, it's very nicely done. I like it a lot. And then a newer one. This was 2 euro, a little bit more expensive because it's newer, I guess. Land Rover Range Rover Evoque. Usually these have a packaging rub on top on that panoram panoramic roof. So the red, metallic red color I have it in white already very nicely detailed in the front grill is uh, part of the base or the interior probably so got the red paint all around the windows and then badging on the back it is a left hand drive instead of a right hand drive it's got uh, nicer wheels too And also found this street machine pro engine mini diecast street machine metal and plastic what does it say okay and apparently um, in the CDC 2.0 video I did some weeks ago uh, quirky quirky garage 1999 on YouTube said he thought this would be a Pioneer model and Emery confirmed that in the comments made in China kind of a goldish color mud jet super 4 times or 4x or 4k don't know 2xi on the side a lot of meaningless um, letters and numbers but it does have lens headlights and a trailer hitch which is a little bit up high so not really usable I think but you know not bad here we got a new ray in 164 it says the only other new ray I have uh, in a kind of a box like this is a 1 to 50 scale a Hummer so I was intrigued by this I'm looking for licensing info here because it says Citroën all over the box oh yeah here it is definitely licensed WRC three and a half euro which is cheaper than the Hummer I got let's see I can just unscrew this so 
So we got a plastic base, Citroën Xara WRC 2005, made in China. Screw together, new ray, it says there, two rubber tires. The wheels look huge. They look more to be 1 to 50 scale. Uh, full deco on this one, which is probably a true racing deco. Um, it says the Rally Monte Carlo. All kinds of sponsorships. Sebastien Loeb, the uh, French rally driver. It looks a bit tuned like this, but yeah. Of course, it's got the flared, arch flared arches and stuff, so. Maybe it does look like that. Don't really know. Don't know anything about rallying. And he also had a bunch of premium stuff. A green light, M2, Johnny Lightning. Uh, the biggest uh, inventory I've ever seen in a European hobby store. Only chose uh, this one. 1977 Chevrolet G20 paramedic fan. Special edition, full-size vans doing full-time work. Uh, this is a 2014 copyright and it was 6 euro. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. It's a generic livery. Um, usually I like to collect these in a New York City livery, but you know, uh, this looks fine too. Serial number of 2370. So metal on metal. Separate pieces for the plastic bumpers. Vehicle number 14. Separate light bar. City Fire Department paramedic. Got the windows in the back. Don't think there's anything in there. Sliding door does not get a uh, door handle, and there seems to be some uh, cracks in the paint. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but uh, see. So I'm glad I did not pay too much for this, because uh, yeah, it suffered some I don't know, maybe heat damage or whatever. Rubber tires, of course. Nice, big, heavy, chunky piece. Then, when um, driving back, I stopped at uh, another hobby store. Uh, that's where I got the next lot. Uh, surprisingly, they had a bunch of uh, vintage cars. Usually they don't have that, but uh, some lady um, um, kind of arrived at their store with the uh, car full of boxes and they uh, bought uh, the boxes these cars were all very dirty well one dirtier than the other so I spent pretty much a whole day cleaning them up um, this is the ISO Grifo by Lesney made in England this was one euro did not have an example of this uh, casting so um, most of the, these are in the kind of played with condition but if they're complete I don't mind so we got uh, opening doors uh, the interior cleaned up really nicely it's got the trailer hatch still to a hook nice steering wheel it's a pretty nice interior they did a great job back in the day you got the handbrake handle a short shift stick Looks much better than uh, what they do nowadays, interior-wise. Maybe the dashboard has some more detail nowadays, but uh, the rest is kind of disappointing often. Of course, this has suspension. A 
another one I did not have an example of the uh, SS100 Jaguar SS if I remember correctly st stood for Swallow Sidecar which was the name before World War II but then after World War II for obvious reasons they wanted to change their name and they uh, renamed them them uh, Jaguar Leslie England there's no window piece here in here so uh, I guess that uh, that was the case like that but still got the headlights a little bit chrome lost there but you know again pretty much the same steering wheel as the Isogrifo nice color combo so big chunky model Then we got the Citroën CX, also one euro. I think most of the Matchbox were ambulance version. I have a few regular station wagons in my childhood collection, blue and yellow. Did not have an example of this. Also, still has the trailer hitch, the hatch that opens up, the detail, um, the deco, the decals. Are faded tempos but you know everything's still there and suspension still works and stuff so good enough I guess now this one uh, had me fooled I thought this was a color variation that somebody had stuck some uh, stickers onto but uh, well turns out it's just the green one that has been repainted so this is a custom of the Mercury Cougar Villager a custom of a um, model that must have been pretty mint if you look at the wheels uh, this must have been a really nice mint example so kinda kinda bummer that they uh, goofed around with this putting some uh, wood grain on the side and the British flag on top Union Jack uh, but yeah it is what it is I think this was only 50 cents probably the nicest one probably of the bunch is this record truck also was one euro uh, but this was also the dirtiest one the bed was filled with uh, muck and uh, dirt and sand and whatnot this is a when this was stored this must have been mint but storage kind of didn't do it very good um, looks okay from this side still got the, the boom the hooks intact the lights there's no scratch on them or anything um, but then when you come around the back you see there was some paint bubbling and uh, with the cleaning it off uh, the paint just uh, flaked off unfortunately from being kept in bad conditions and same with the, the bed there but you know, all in all it's a nice find and a great addition to the Turtra collection. Very pleased with that. Also found the trailer caravan. 1970 copyright, also one euro. Uh, I have a couple of these and when they are complete I pick them up. This one was a probably a sandbox find because it was full of sand and dirt. So I completely took it apart can see the color difference on the inside of the of the roof and uh, I took off the interior also cleaned it up a little bit of yellowing here in the front but all in all it's in uh, great condition and then the inside cleaned it all out too so uh, this has to go first so the lip goes underneath the, the, the hitch part and then click it in and then this goes on top funny thing is you see the door is here and then when you look on the inside uh, and the door opens up it opens up to this uh, this thing here instead of the real entry there so it doesn't really line up that's kind of kind of funny and then this is kind of snaps on there hopefully without breaking yeah that seems okay um, so the bottom has still the, the original yellow color sides look pretty okay but then front and back are pretty faded 
and uh, yeah strangely enough even with wa washing it with uh, water and soap the stickers are still uh, pretty much how I got it got them so not bad a newer one the uh, matchbox moving truck I think it says uh, matchbox in Japanese here on the side so plastic box metal cabin and metal base and it opens up in the back so, yeah pretty cool probably also was uh, 50 cents I guess like most of them except for a few of the matchbox here we got a majorette Ford Thunderbird metal and metal made in France suspension opening a hood revealing a chrome engine uh, funny thing is I remember this from uh, when I was young and uh, you see there there's a little broken piece there was kind of a stud that kept the uh, that kept the hood in the upward position so you had to kind of break that off to uh, to be able to close it the grill has lost some plastic grill has lost some chrome headlights are part of the metal base so that kind of clips together like that the, the black trim is part of the interior so it's something that Hot Wheels does nowadays with the, for instance my favorite Hot Wheels the Volvo 850 Estate but you can see Majorette did that already a long long time ago so nothing new there Trailer hitch all very much good condition chrome dashboard and steering wheel part of the engine piece and then the interior is a black then we got a Corgi Juniors Whiz Wheels Ferrari 512S made in Great Britain now this is a yeah pretty toast uh, but I never leave a Ferrari behind so I picked it up these uh, wings here in the back are folded forward they should be uh, pointing kind of upwards but not this much just towards the back uh, got part of a sticker still on there it's a nice red color but uh, yeah it's uh, seen better days for sure a nondescript London taxi for my taxi collection so I never pass that up nicely detailed in the front but nothing in the back and it's got an interior it's right hand drive so basically has everything it should have no idea who uh, who made this it's even got some suspension but the uh, paint is yeah not in the greatest shape but mostly still there though another made in Hong Kong one Beetle convertible plastic bumpers part of the base metal flake black with uh, some uh, flower power on the front white interior the big huge fold down folded down soft top so yeah I thought this looked okay again no idea who made it and then being in Holland this is the Dutch flag this is an Edo car 1989 copyright Citroën 2CV de chevaux it's basically a meso casting it has no interior because this has a uh, sound module in it if you press the suspension of the wheels it starts playing a song I'm not going to do that now because it, it, it lasts pretty long the song so um, it's got the tulips on the side kind of a symbol for uh, Holland so I thought it was kind of kind of cute and funny I like this goofy stuff. Got another one from uh, yeah, duck theme. And then I got uh, staying with the uh, Holland because Edo car was a Dutch Dutch diecast brand. In case I didn't mention that, uh, these are also these vans. These are FC from Holland Citroën C.35 in a 1268 scale it says on the base so metal on metal uh, big pointy trailer hitch on them should have an antenna but it's broken off got the cherry on top 
So uh, tempo-wise, these don't get a lot, but it does have the sliding door. That's a cool feature. And a lot of seats in there, so you can transport a lot of people in it. Here's a red version, so kind of fire department-ish. The black base. These are all uh, Citroën versions, because it also exists in the Fiat and Peugeot, I think. So it's got the uh, bluish window piece to get the blue cherry on top. This one does still have the antenna and a little bit nicer wheels. Here we have what seems to be a French police version. So it's got that typical French color with the police on the side. Doors all still works. That kind of uh, is a testament of the good quality of these FC vehicles. I think, in my honest, humble opinion. And then we got a Dutch police version, a little bit shorter antenna on this one, broken off. Um, it's kind of strange. Got it seems to have a kind of a whiter undertone than the more off-white top. So this seems to be repainted in this uh, more cream-like color. Seems to have authentic decals on it for the Rijkspolici, the Dutch police. And uh, it's got the door still working. And also found some more premium stuff at this uh, hobby store. Oh shoot. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, I've got I switched some things up. Um, this was from the. Uh, oh, this is sticky. This was from the gift and hobby store, uh, and uh, and this too. And then this was from the store where I got the loose cars, all the loose cars, the other hobby store. So, yeah, kind of goofed that up. Sorry about that. So we got a Pulse Model Art Micro Champs, four euro and fifty cents, in the Michael Schumacher collection, Fiat 500 Classic One Edition 64, number eight. Mine Estes Auto, my first car. That means I don't know if this was uh, Michael Schumacher's first car. Very tiny vehicle but uh, realistic to the real one because they were really really tiny so I assume this is true 164 I have no reason to doubt that and even though it's so little we get the lensed headlights we get chrome plastic bumpers that are separate pieces chrome details painted taillights Soft up is uh, open, and we get the get brown seats and a red painted metal dashboard with a off-white steering wheel that has lots of details on it, the instrument cluster behind it, and the buttons on the dashboard and stuff, ashtray. It's all there. It's all nicely detailed. Uh, even back then. Paul's model art was uh, top of the line in interior, interior details when it comes to 164 scale. So yeah, very, very pleased to have found this. Put it this one aside because it's so tiny, it'll be safer. Um, Let's uh, continue first with the, the rest of the uh, gift and hobby shop. So as some of you may have seen in the CDC 2.0 video, I scored a full case of Norev. Um, but since there's 48 cars in that case, it would be too much to do in this video. So I decided to do a uh, Sunday live video, probably tomorrow in which we will look at uh, that box. This is uh, just two examples from what, what is in there. 
This one I saw on Daika's dude's video and that's what, what made me decide to go there. And it was still there luckily. This is one of the oldest one in the case. No date on the window box. And this is one of the newest ones on the case. It got the 2020 date on it. So basically probably 10 years or more of Norf releases in that case. Uh, so nice variety. So I think that's going to be interesting and we'll see if we have we look at all of them in one video or maybe do a two-parter. Uh, don't know, we will see about that. So back to the other hobby store where I got the loose cars from. Mini Champs 64, um, Porsche 911, Carrera S 2008 in grey metallic. Uh, these were not on their website. They have an ex extensive website with uh, everything they have, but these were not on there. They were only visible in the shop, in the, the huge hobby store they have. So I was very pleased to find these because uh, there's a, one of the few ones I'm missing from the 2009. Mini Champs 64 release by Paul's Model Art. One of 5,040 pieces. And uh, the color in German is called Atlas Grau Metallic. Although it has a blue hint to it, if you ask me. So we got a plastic base with the engine detail. We got rubber tires with no tread on them. We got authentic rims with the disc brakes behind it, but no calipers. We got lens lights front and back. Some painted details in the front. Porsche emblem. Got some uh, reflective parts on the side mirrors. Exhaust detail. Carrera S, it says in the middle. Nice tan interior with a dashboard that is black on top, a black steering wheel, and then underneath the dashboard is tan like the rest of the interior. So these Mini Champ 64 are uh, top of the line when it comes to interior detail. Even better than the Micro Champs. Uh, so you got the gauges, you got the steering wheel fully decked out, you got the door handles. Let's see from the other side, yeah, there you can see the door handle on the door. And then the silver on the steering wheel. Cages are hard to see. I don't know if we can, we'll be able to show you that. Maybe through the back window. No, kind of hard to see, but they're definitely there. Yeah, beautiful. And then the other one which I've only ever seen once, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS 2006 in green. I didn't pick it up because I didn't want to pay the price the seller was asking and I was glad to find it again for that same price, €7.99, which is the uh, second most expensive I've paid for Mini Cham 64, usually I pay around five, five euro for these, but you know, since it's a hard one to find, I was finally willing to pay that. Also one of 5,040 pieces, like all of the 2009 releases were, at least these uh, streetcars. Don't know about the 
racing cars I don't have any of those don't collect those so couldn't tell you what numbers these were sold in so pretty much the same base but a different engine detail let's get the engine um, the, the exhaust in the middle GT3 RS on the side different rims again with the brake discs behind it and no calipers perforated perforated brake discs by the way I don't think it will show up on camera but they are a little more little bit more detail in the front or maybe it's just more visible because it's green black side mirrors plastic sporter on the back and it even has a roll cage in there painted green so black interior this one doesn't have the windows open so it's kind of harder to uh, to see through it seems to have the bucket seats with the possibility for a four-point harness you can see by the silver pieces in there and uh, seems to have a different steering wheel or maybe not not sure and it's got some silver paint on the center console that the other one did not seem to have also got the gauges yeah awesome very pleased with that the um, paint has a little bit of a what do you call that orange peel and that's often the case with the uh, mini champ 64 when they're not metallic colors but it's not that bad of course got the rubber tires the slicks which of course Bit much better on this more uh, racing oriented vehicle even though it's a stock one and then I got a Shuko MNJ toys exclusive limited to 3,600 3, 3, um, this is a chase so uh, that means limited to 150 pieces VWT1 the type 2 um, here's the other vehicles in this uh, set so this is a 2020 release of these Shuko European classics by M&J toys 12 euro and a half is what I paid same price as the regular version so let's uh, cut this one open I got a regular one already showed that in uh, another chase report I believe this year or maybe it was last year I'm not sure so Zamac chase version painted black metal base rubber tires authentic rims Lens headlights and then painted tail lights. The Fra Ferrari Automobile Brussels Ferrari Garage livery. Garage Franc Orchon. Cool. And then on Saturday, July 24, uh, I did some local shopping. So the stupid toy store had these RMZ City cars uh, on sale, 10% off. So one euro and 50 cents to one euro and 35 cents. So a little discount. This is a 2018 release. These have no interior. 
a bit of packaging rub, nice blue color. This is a 2017 BMW M550i. So you get lots of details in the front, even on the bottom of the bumper there, the black paint. And then in the back you just get the tail lights. And newer stuff from uh, 2020. A flipper, well these bubbles are so big that the cars easily flip. Ford GT. I'm pleased to see that this actually has an opening here and uh, underneath the flying buttress. So that's pretty impressive. It's got the Ford logo, headlights, some black paint on these grills here. And then um, it's got the taillights too and some black paint on the exhaust. So all in all, that's not bad. Big diffuser here in the back. Yeah, that's a nice achievement for a, a cheap brand, cheap diecast manufacturer to uh, to achieve this uh, open space here. That's impressive. Nice one. A new casting of the Audi R8 Coupe or Coupe. I have a couple versions of the previous one. This is uh, kind of the facelift. So uh, it's got basically full deco, so you got the, the blades here on the side painted and the grill and the Audi logo front and then tail lights in the back with a little plastic spoiler added to it. And then a Mercedes AMG C63S. These are all 2020 releases. lights done and then nicely detailed in the front and in a store called Lidl uh, there was also a sale usually they don't have uh, Hot Wheels but every now and then they get two or three cases a year and then uh, they appear on and off in the stores one euro and 49 and if you bought two you get one for free so 99 cents yeah, that comes down to I think this is the J case got the 70 Volkswagen Baja Bug and this is a satin grey with the German flag on it 70 for 70 years of uh, the Beetle I guess mud tires and chrome base the BMW M3 GT2 metallic white in the BMW racing colors this was retooled for 2021 to have a metal spoiler blue windows don't know why that is no deco in the back you get everything on the side and on the hood or bonnet the Porsche 935 and the Urban Outlaw livery Magnus Walker so this get the red base and then there's the version with the blue base and then blue here and the blue base one has the red here kind of reverse colors I did that on the uh, 70s Porsche 911 too. Tail lights and these lights here in the front are part of the window piece. Or maybe these in the back are part of the interior, not sure. So you get side deco and a top tempo. Which makes it look pretty good. The Jaguar XE SV Project 8 and uh, shiny black. It's not a metal flake black, I think, although 
seems to have a little bit of sparkle in there but I don't think it is so we got the details in the back and in the front that's cool and then a plastic roof and I was very pleased to find this one when I found the uh, Audi wagon the RS2 I did not find this one Mercedes-Benz 500e the taxi Mercedes is what I call it back in the day a lot of these were used as taxi obviously not the 500e but the diesel ones but uh, yeah a local taxi company had a bunch of these in black the diesel engine new casting for 2021 so details in the back and in the front just like we like it Very nicely done yeah cool the bone shaker in the moon eyes livery not something I usually collect but you know if you, uh, you have to buy three of them and sometimes stock was very limited so I had to do I don't know 10 or more stores to find this bunch um, so sometimes I picked something that you know I would maybe not take otherwise but this is a pretty cool one Moon Eyes livery is pretty cool so why not Seventy one Dotson five ten. This has four tempo passes, no, three. It's nothing front and back, just on the sides and on top. Does it say Hot Wheels here in Japanese? I'm not sure. Could be seventeen. 2017 Ford GT in the then and now series. So I got the, the then version. So pleased to have the now version too. No details in the back, and the front details are kind of part of the top temper, so looks good. Again, no idea why it's got blue windows. This is a metal flake white one, much better, better than the satin white. 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor in grey says Raptor on the side and some black stripes on the hood does get the taillights done this side they kind of wrap around but this side they pretty much don't so it's kind of a side tempo that kind of wraps around a little bit big Ford name on the embossed in the tailgate yeah that's pretty cool this one was the hardest one to find Porsche 356 Outlaw probably because it was a uh, treasure hunt version and also the golf livery a lot of people collect that so it's a nice one The 1989 Mazda Savannah RX-7 FC3S. The Hot Wheels J imports. White this time. Previously, previously saw it in red. So nicely detailed in the back. The front, well, could have done with some black paint for the grill underneath there maybe. Some silver paint for the fog lights, that would have been nice, but anyways. Not bad to get white rims, black interior, right hand drive. Cool. The 2020 Toyota GR Supra new casting based on the BMW Z4. Metal spoiler in the back, no details in the back, just in the front and on the sides. The 
the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR from the then and now. So this is the then version. I showed the now version some time ago. So we get uh, details in the back on the plastic part that is part of the interior. GTR logo and uh, a few red dots on the, the outside lights, nothing on the inside lights it seems. And the side deco, nothing in the front. And we end with the 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe. Metallic purple. This is a 2009 copyright, so pretty old casting already, but it's got a nice weight to it because uh, there's a lot of metal here on the back, no plastic, and even in the front here, no plastic front end like they usually do nowadays. That makes it feel a little bit more heavy. That's cool. Thanks for watching. Bye.